Okay, so now I'm going to try and go a bit more into effects and what you can do with them. Um, so there are three main things which you'll do with effects. You'll either generate an image with them, you'll modify an image, or you'll extract information from, from the image. Your generation nodes will be things like your checkerboards, your color cards, your gradients. Um, we'll just get a linear gradient, just add that. Um, and as you when we add a linear gradient, it will plug into the X sheet over here and we will see it over here in the columns. Now, what plugs into the X sheet affects how they are ordered in the scene, but is not necessarily what is rendered. What is rendered is what goes into the output node, and you can render any of the nodes, or any section of the nodes, as their components rather than as the final renderer, to do that, you would basically just add a new output, or click here for new output, and if you only wanted to render the linear gradient, you could plug that into the output node and render that output node with only that gradient, while this output node would render whatever we, you know, the entire scene. Okay, when editing the nodes which generate information, like the gradients, you will have markers on the screen which will allow you to define how that node works. So, for example, in this one we have the gradient, which will have these markers. These will be different for each node. For example, if we take a different gradient like the four points gradient and we just do that, you will see that this one has four points. And the markers will allow you a different level of control from the information which is up when you double click on the node itself. Now, probably the most important nodes and the nodes which you will use the most are the following nodes. The first one will be the over node. The over node is pretty straightforward. It allows you to decide what is on top of what in the scene. So if we were to put in various nodes and just render, we can then decide which will be in which order. And you can reorder the entire scene through these nodes. You can also use the same column in multiple different layers and render through the over node. The next nodes allow us to extract and define information. There are the mats in the mat out and one of the most useful nodes in the entire FX system would be the palette filter. The mat in and out are basically variants of the same thing. But they work 
in opposite ways. So for our mat head, we move this. We will see that the mat in takes an image and removes everything outside of that image. Both the mats can be used with any type of node, so they can be used with raster as well as vector nodes. And transparency does affect how the nodes work. So if we were to make this color more transparent, it would automatically affect what the node's effect would be. The net out will basically cut out whatever is in the mat and will allow you to deal with the information for what is it, whatever is in that mat. So if we wanted to, for example, use the mat out to change that with the gradient, We can then use the mats to shift between gradients and effects. The final node we're going to look at is this node, which is the palette filter. Now the palette filter mainly works with vectors. And the way the palette filter works is it works through your colored palette. And each color in your color palette has an index. You see in the corner here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can basically use this color palette to choose any information from those filters. Um, so if we only wanted the lines using the first three colors in the color palette, we could choose those. We only wanted one color from the color palette. We could choose that as well. So you can have colors which are identical as in this case but affect the drawing differently when you come to using them in the effect editor and you can basically define just about any information you want to and extract any part of a vector drawing and use that to mix with other nodes. So, um, use that for color 7. We could, for example, stylize that color. Um, Yes, like Okay, so there is our 
mosaic.